Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Logan Kilpatrick and I'm the community manager for the Julia language. So in this video today, we're going to be talking about how to actually get Julia Pro installed on your computer locally so that you can run Julia. In previous videos, as part of the introduction to Julia class taught by Dr. Jane Harriman, there, in that course, we actually used notebooks for everything. In this course, we are actually going to be inside of the IDE, inside of Julia Pro, and we're gonna be programming through that. So the, the first step to getting everything installed is actually to open up your web browser. We're gonna to go to juliacomputing.com. From juliacomputing.com, you'll, you'll come to the page. It'll look something like this. Uh, once you're on Julia Computing's website, we are going to be going to products, and then we're gonna to go to Julia Pro. So just as a, as a quick highlight to sort of give some context about why we're going with Julia Pro. So the, the idea of Julia Pro is it's a, Julia Pro is a distribution of Julia from Julia Computing. And the idea is that uh, Julia Computing has taken a bunch of things, a bunch of a, a curated list of packages, if you will, and some other functionality, and they've packaged it all together into a single download. So we can just download one thing, we can open it up, and we can have Julia plus an IDE already working on our computers. Uh, so it's designed to simplify the process, and you, their, their quote here is, um, Julia Pro is a free download is in the fastest on-ramp uh, to Julia for, for developers. So that's the reason that we're going to go with, with Julia Pro for this video. There are other ways that you can run Julia locally on your computer. If you go to julialang.org, there's some of the, the download links are available there. And all of those will, will also be uh, possible to use for, for these videos if you want to download it and use something other than Julia Pro. Um, but for, the, for these videos, I'm just going to use Julia Pro, um, and hopefully it'll, it'll make everything a little bit easier for people who are first-time Julia users. So once you, again, once we go to the Julia Computing website, we go to products, then we go to Julia Pro, which talks a little bit about all the, the benefits of using Julia Pro. Um, I'm using Mac OS, so I'm going to go over to the, the current stable release section. I'm going to download the Mac OS download. It's gonna have me do some authentication. I'm already signed in with GitHub, so I just went ahead and clicked GitHub, and now we can see the, um, the Julia Pro download is going. I would suggest using the, if, you're, if you have a GitHub account, the authentication with GitHub, in my opinion, seems to always work. I've seen people say that they've had trouble authenticating sometimes. Um, for me, I've never had that challenge while I was authenticating with, with GitHub. So if you're, if you're able to authenticate with GitHub, I would suggest doing so just to make things a little bit easier for you. Um, so again, what you're seeing right here, um, when I double click on this installer, it's saying that Julia Pro can't be open because Apple cannot check for malicious software. This is a very common thing. Um, this is just a, a problem or not necessarily a problem, a feature of, of Mac OS. This is not something you'll run into on other operating systems. So if you're on Mac OS, what you'll need to do is open up Finder, you can go to Downloads. If you two finger click, wait for this to go away. If you two finger click on the download and then you do open, this should actually allow us to open up the installer and hopefully it'll work from there. And this is saying, hey, we can't check it. Do you really wanna open it? I do really wanna open it. And then it's gonna pop up this installer right here. From there, just all the normal stuff, press continue, blindly agree to the terms of use, as everyone always does. And this will get Julia Pro installed. Uh, again, as we were talking about before, so Julia Pro is, is a package, um, or not a package, it's a, it's a combination of all of these different components into a single download. So what you get is you get the Atom IDE, um, and you get some 
uh, you get Julia, obviously, and then you have some other peripheral packages also installed doing like a single download instead of having to install Adam separately, install Julia separately, and then install some of these other package, packages separately. This allows you to do it all in a, in a single in a single step, which is really nice and, and convenient if you're trying to simplify this process. So as soon as this finishes, we will hop right into actually taking a look at Julia Pro. So this is just um, one of the really cool parts about Julia Pro is it actually allows you to specify if you were you know, a corporate customer or you're a corporate user of Julia and you have a private package server, um, which if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. If you do know what that is and that's something that's interesting to you, this is one of the cool features that Julia Pro supports. Um, for us and for, I'm just a normal user, I'm just here to write some Julia code for myself. Um, I don't want to do anything fancy, so I'm just going to press OK, and it's going to, like it says here, leave blank to use the default package server. Um, so I'm just going to use the default package server. Awesome. It's finishing up this install. We can hop in and, and take a look at some of the, what the different, what Julia Pro will actually look like um, from our perspective as a developer. All right, so we got the Julia Pro install finished. It says the installation was successful, which is awesome. Um, so we're gonna head and close that out and we can move the installer to the trash since it's already been installed. Perfect. And now we can go ahead and open up Julia Pro. So for me, I'm on Mac OS. I'm gonna navigate to my applications folder. Um, and from there, I'll actually see Julia Pro 1.4.1. I can give that a click and it is going to open up Julia Pro for the first time. So you'll see in the top left-hand corner, we were talking about earlier, what is Julia Pro? It's a, it's a combination of a bunch of different things just packaged together in one download. Um, so Julia Pro is essentially a, a layer on top of the Atom IDE, which just gives us Julia and some of these other um, functionalities. So you see we're in Atom right now, the Atom IDE. On the left-hand side here, you have your editor where I can just type stuff in. Um, down here, we have what's called the REPL, which is just a Julia terminal. Um, we can open that up and we can run commands as we normally would in Julia, like one plus one, or create variables, or for loops, or strings. Um, we're seeing right here the workspace. The workspace is pretty cool because it essentially gives us a look into um, some of the the variables and stuff like that it's it's super handy when you're when you're debugging or programming to have a look at um what's showing up in the workspace i just declared the variable x and assigned it the value one um, and now you can actually see that showing up in my workspace here i have the variable x and i can see its value right here in the workspace um, the other cool part is we actually have access to the documentation within um, I can search documentation within the uh, IDE, which is very convenient. And then over here on the right-hand side, we have the plot plane. Um, so if you're using plots.jl or another visualization package in Julia, you can plot something and instead of it popping up in a separate screen and you have to navigate back and forth between all these different pages, it actually is just gonna show up directly inside of your, uh, your IDE. And that way, it's just convenient to move between all these different pieces. So for me, when I personally develop inside of Adam and, and Julia Pro, I usually close all these things out um, just because I'm really mostly focused on the editor and the REPL when I'm programming. Um, but it's, it's personal preference. If those things are helpful to you, you can navigate back up to Juno on the top um, the toolbar. And then you can open those things back up by doing open workspace, open... Uh, outline plane, pane, outline, uh, open documentation browser, et cetera, et cetera. So all those things are available to you via the Juno tab up on the, uh, the top of your screen. So the last thing we need to do to make sure that Julia Pro is set and it's ready to use to actually install packages and, and all of that good stuff is we're just gonna go into the package manager. And we talked about this briefly in some of the previous videos, but to go into the package manager, 
in the REPL, all you do is type a, a left facing square bracket. So I, you can see I put that in quotation marks here, but when I type in the left facing square bracket by itself, it actually opens up this, this little package, um, the package manager. So now I can type something like up, which just updates the packages that I have installed. And let's see what happens when I type in up. So this is one of the required steps for when we use Julia Pro. So one of the interesting parts about Julia Pro is Julia Pro actually gives us access to certain packages that aren't available in the general Julia registry. Uh, so Julia Computing supports premium packages, I believe is the, is the terminology that they use, but essentially what premium packages are is it allows a package developer, if they choose to actually make the package for sale. So they can sell that to developers, uh, depending on the use case, instead of making it open source and free and available to everyone. So this infrastructure that's built into Julia Pro allows for this to happen. Um, so one of, the, one of the pieces that you'll actually have to do when you use Julia Pro through the, through the REPL, you'll have to sign in and authenticate and, and all these additional steps that you normally wouldn't have to do. But the, the reasoning for that is, um, is for this authentication if you want to buy premium packages and stuff like that. So I'm just going to do exactly what I did before when I downloaded Julia Pro is I'm just going to log in with GitHub. And I've done this a few times previously, so it's probably um, not going to make me do anything more. Yeah, you can see already it shows authenticated. You may now close this browser window. So now I can go back and I can see it says authentication was successful, and I think it's gonna probably do a couple more things. Yep, it's just installing some peripheral packages and updating them, and then we should be good to go. So you may need to give, uh, when you authenticate using GitHub, it might ask you like any other third-party GitHub application to give it access to your um, email address or something like that from your GitHub profile. If you're comfortable doing that, you can proceed with that step. Otherwise, there's other authentication methods if you don't want to go through that route using GitHub. So now we're good. I, I'm pretty sure that now we're able to, like if we want to do add example, which is just the name of a package, it's working the way that it's supposed to. We have access to all the packages, which is awesome. So we're all set to go now. Uh, we're able to actually install packages. We could remove packages as well. it's working the way that we would expect. So this, this wraps up the installing and setting up Julia Pro video. If there's questions or there's, there's issues with this process, you're, you're welcome to, to drop them somewhere in the comments. Um, but this, is, this should get you from, um, from the previous introduction to Julia course where we're just using notebooks to now actually using an IDE to program in Julia and add packages and, and all that stuff. So this will get you from the, from the beginner stage to the intermediary stage, um, and now we can program in an IT environment.